This Saturday, you're invited to go furniture shopping at Urban Antique QC located in Walcott, Iowa. Owner and artist Diana Gasper is here now. Diana, welcome back. Thank you, Morgan. Um, <laughs> welcome back and thank you so much uh, because you outfitted us for today um, in our kitchen, which we're going to talk about in just a minute. Uh, we got whole new furniture in here for about an hour and we're very <laughs> excited about that. Um, but first, uh, tell everybody about your shop, Urban Antique QC. Okay, so I've been in business about 15 years refinishing furniture and I've done everything from a table set from the 1920s up to the 90s. I stop at the 90s because after that, uh, furniture isn't made quality. Okay. Yes. So the problems in the stores currently, and I hear it all the time, um, tables are not uh, wood anymore. Right. They're particle board. So that's why I do what I do. I try to save all the old good stuff and then make it last another generation. That's amazing. And you are so right. <laughs> we were talking about this before the show started. My mother helped me refinish, helped me. She refinished <laughs> a dining room <laughs> table for me last summer. And that was her big concern. She mm -hmm. was like, if this is new enough, it's yeah. not going to be a real wood. I won't be able to strip it. So we'll get into all of that. Mm -hmm. um, so talk about where you work, um, okay. the space that you work in and, and store all this furniture. Fantastic. Yes. So I got lucky enough four years ago, I was able to buy six acres out in Walcott Good for you. and it has, has and had a 60 by 40 foot pole building. So, um, I have 75% of that pole building as a storefront and 25% is a shop area, which always should have been bigger. You know, yeah. you always need more space. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I work um, six to 10 dining room tables at a time. Just wow. depends on what you're doing. inventory, people contacting me. I have people come from five hours away. It's a dying I art. Yeah. So yeah, I get a lot of people. 90% of what I redo for others is golden oak in the 90s. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. But the tables are solid, so they want to redo them and have them updated, and that's what I do. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, so the table that we're sitting at yes. right now and the chairs that we are sitting <laughs> in right now, um, you have refinished. Yes. It's incredible. Yes. Um, so tell me about the table itself and kind of the process to make it look like this. Okay, so it's multi. So the first thing um, I do, I always the bases get painted first. Okay. Um, the, so you have to sand all of that down. Sand it down and do all the prep and then the painting and then the distressing and then the clear coat. Wow. So that's just the base. <laughs> and then the top of the table, um, usually I try not to use stripper unless it's a high gloss finish. Okay. Um, I usually scrape a top, sand a top with five different kinds of sandpaper. Wow. Maybe more. <laughs> and then um, it depends on if it gets stained. This is an all natural. So I just left it natural and put poly on it. It's beautiful. It's got four coats of polyurethane sanding in between, 24 hour dry. Yep in between each coat. Yes, yeah. I've seen this in action <laughs> and I can't get over the fact that, I mean, there there is so much intensive work that goes into it and you talked about the different sanders that oh, you yeah, use. Yeah. That's because you kind of don't know how the table or the wood is necessarily gonna react. Well, every, everybody's like, you should be an expert by now. And I'm like, really? Every <laughs> single table is different. Every single one. It's very cool. It's yeah. be absolutely beautiful. Is this sold yet? Not yet. I can't, it will be. And it's not the biggest, It's it has two leaves to go in it too. So it can actually, I think it extends to 102 inches. So you, this is like a 10 person. Yes. This is what you want for Thanksgiving. <laughs> the farmhouse to host table. The farmhouse table. It's incredible. <laughs> the chairs too. Um, so uh, tell me a little bit about when clients come to you because you can actually customize um, projects for them. I yes. saw Ashley Marshall yeah, got her table done by did. you. She comes on all the time with the yeah. barn, the red barn. Um, so take us through that process and, and really how long from start to finish someone can expect? So it depends. Right now I had a table dropped off. It was a great grandparent set and we're rebuilding the table itself, keeping it intact, but rebuilding the foundation like the under part of the table so it stays together. That's going to take a month and we're leaving the legs. She likes all the chippy legs that were there. Yes. We have to re put the tabletop back together. It's got so many cracks in it and then I'll refinish it after all the repairs are done. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Okay, so I think we're going to take a look at the buffet table I that know, you brought. I know, because it matches. Yeah, it matches <laughs> with the dining room table. So they, they come as a pair, folks. Okay, no, they really <laughs> should though. Um, so this is something that you did. Like, when is this, when was this originally from with all those tiny little drawers? That's the 1980s. The it's 80s. Ethan Allen 80s. Yep. Ethan Allen. Yes, I know. They have, I love finding their tables. I'm always on the hunt for unique pieces. This table has like turned legs underneath yep. of it. And then I've got farmhouse tables. I've got trestle tables. I've the, my favorite tables to redo, which is kind of crazy are 1970s tables. Really? They're like skinny legged, but 
and they're all and they're mud. They're kind of in. They're all right mud now. brown yeah. when I get them, and then you sand them off, and the wood underneath them is amazing. Okay, it's well, crazy. If you want to see all of her tables, <laughs> her favorites, her know. you know whatever, you can see them all this weekend at Urban Teak QC because yeah. you are actually inviting the public yes. into my house or my property, your property, yes. so that they can peruse literally everything you mm -hmm. have. And from what it sounds like, it's a ton of stuff. It's a lot. I had to open up a second barn for a second showroom because I have so many pieces that are finished. That's great. Right. Yeah, and, and the reason why she's doing it is because you go to these different shows mm -hmm. and folks see what you post on social media and on Facebook, and they're like, "Is this still available? It's still available? Do you have more? Do you have the? You know, can I come see? Can I?" So yes, Saturday, nine. Saturday to three. is the day. Tomorrow. Yeah. It's Tomorrow. Already, it's already Friday. It's already Friday. Okay, so let's put up the information for okay. everybody. You can go furniture shopping at Urban TQC tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, it is located off 80th Avenue in Walcott. Uh, we have the address there on your screen. Uh, be sure to follow along on Facebook as well at facebook.com slash Urban QC. That's where you're going to see all those items that you, Yay. you know, direct message and say exactly. is still available. Yes. Diana, thank you again so much. Thanks, this Morgan. is beautiful. We really appreciate it.